Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today you'll learn another chapter known as the Great Sacrifice. You must know that this story is true. It's the history of Mewar, which proudly speaks of many women who describe the true meaning of courage and sacrifice. From Rani Padmavati to Meera, Mewar had many gems to count on. And in this list, there is a mother whose sacrifice was unparalleled. Her loyalty and patriotism had no boundaries. And this is the story of Panna Dai. So let's begin with the chapter. In this story, there are few characters. So the first character is Panna, the nurse of the infant Uday Singh. Infant means a very young child or a baby. Then there is Padma and Champa, both they are maids, a female domestic servant. Banbir, a half brother of Uday Singh, who was ruling Mewar for Uday Singh. Half brother, a brother with whom one has only one parent in common. Mewar, or it is also called as Mewar, is a region in the south central part of Rajasthan state of India. The bed chamber of the infant prince Uday Singh in the palace of Chittor. The prince is sleeping on his ivory bed and his nurse Panna, who is a young Rajput woman, is sitting on another bed. Her little son, who is of the same age as the prince, is lying asleep beside her. A maid, Padma, comes in. Where is the prince? There he is. And here is my son. Both of them have just fallen asleep. I am worried. Yes, I too am worried. Everything has been going wrong. Since the death of Ranaji, nobody seems to be happy. The nobles are quarrelling among themselves. They have become mean and selfish. And Banbir has become very ambitious. Do you think the nobles like him? They have to like him. They are not strong enough to dislike him. But isn't he grateful to them? Grateful! Can a snake ever be grateful to anyone? Banbir and gratitude belong to two different worlds. I say, Padma, this Banbir is a curse to the house of Mewar. We have to be careful of him. But isn't he a son of our late Rana and half-brother of our prince? He may be anything, but I don't trust the man. He has killed some nobles and has crushed the others. They don't dare to say or do anything against him. They are afraid of him and he does what he likes. There is discontent among the people and there is discontent in the army. Why doesn't the army throw him out? It can't. Banbir has formed a party of his own. There are some strong men on his side and everyone is afraid of him. Unfortunate Mewar, your troubles will never end. What can we do, Panna? We can do a lot. Let the time come. I haven't yet told you the worst about Banbir. What is it, Padma? Listen, Banbir wants to be the permanent Rana of Mewar. He has resolved to kill the prince. And I have resolved to save the prince. When the Rani, the prince's mother, was dying, she said to me, Panna, I have lost everything except my precious child. I am leaving him in your charge. Be a mother to him and protect him from all harm. I promised her that I would give my life to save the life of the prince. And she died smiling. Banbir cannot kill the prince as long as Panna lives. I will fulfill my promise to my late mistress. The sound of somebody running outside. Listen, there is somebody outside. Who can it be? It must be one of the guards. A maid named Champa enters panting. Make haste. Do what you can to save the life of the prince. You haven't any time to lose. Banbir will be here in a few minutes. He's talking to a man outside. He's only a hundred yards away from here. How do you know he's coming to kill the prince? He has a naked sword in his hand. All right. The time to do or die has come. I must save the life of the prince or die with him. Champa and Padma, please help me save the life of Rana Sangha's child. Quickly, 
lifts the prince from his bed, changes his clothes and puts him in a basket and then covers him with flowers and leaves. Take this basket out of the palace, hide yourself near the gate and wait for me there. Lifting up the basket, I will carry this most precious basket under my arm. Champa, follow me. Where are we going to take the prince? No one in Mewar will keep him in his house. Don't worry, I have already thought about it. We will take him to Asa Shah, who is a good man and a friend of ours. I am sure he will protect the prince. Now hurry up and be careful. The maids go out, taking the infant prince with them. Panna quickly dresses her own child in the clothes of the prince and puts him in his bed. She looks at him for a few minutes, kisses him several times and lies down on her bed. The sound of footsteps outside. Banbir enters the room hurriedly. Panna gets up from the bed. Where is the prince? Not so loud, please. He is asleep. Where is he? Panna points to her child with a trembling hand. Banbir rushes to the bed and kills the child with his sword. Panna shrieks and falls down on her baby's body. Banbir looks around and goes out of the room. Mistress, I have kept my promise to you. I have saved the life of the prince. I do hope you have understood this chapter. In case you have any doubts, you can comment below and keep watching for more videos and do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and stay safe.